made an agreement known as the Fandelver's Pact. By which they would share a rich mine in a wondrous cavern. which they would share a rich mine in a wondrous In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine contained In addition to its mineral wealth, the mine human spellcasters would divide themselves with the dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind that energy into a great forge called the Forge of Spells, where magic items could be crafted. Times were good, and the nearby human town of Fandale was anybody watching it as well. I'm watching. Oh yeah, you, you can hear our Discord chat in the stream right now. <laughs> That's what he's typing right now. <laughs> so do we need to like shut up? Yeah. Human wizards fall inside their dwarf and gnome allies to defend the forge of spells, and the ensuing spell battle destroyed much of the cavern. Few survived the cave-ins and tremors, and the location of Wave Echo Cave was lost. For centuries, rumors of buried riches have attracted treasure seekers and opportunists to the area around Fandalen, but no one has ever succeeded in locating the lost mine. In, in recent years, people have resettled the area. Fandalen is now a rough and tumble frontier town. More important, the Rockseeker Brothers, a trio of dwarves, have discovered the entrance to Wave Echo Cave. And they intend to reopen the mines. Unfortunately for the rock diggers, they are not the only ones interested in Wave Echo Cave. A mysterious villain known as the Black Spider controls a network of banded gangs and goblin tribes in the area, and his agents have followed the rock diggers to their prize. Now the Black Spider wants Wave Echo Cave for himself, and is taking steps to make sure that no one else knows where it is. The world of the Forgotten Realms is where the story in this adventure takes place. In the realms, knights dare the crypts of the fallen dwarf kings of Belzoon, seeking glory and treasure. Rogues prowl the dark alleyways of teeming cities such as Neverwinter and Baldur's Gate. Clerics in the service of gods wield mason spell, questing against the terrifying powers that threaten the land. Wizards plunder the ruins of the fallen Netherese Empire, delving into secrets too dark for the light of day. Dragons, giants, Demons and unimaginable abominations lurk in dungeons, caverns, ruined cities, and the vast, wild places of the world. On the roads and rivers of the realms travel minstrels and peddlers, merchants and guards, soldiers, sailors, and steel-hearted adventurers carrying tales of strange, glorious, faraway places. Good maps and clear trails can take even an inexperienced youth with dreams of glory far across the world. Thousands of restless would-be heroes from backcountry farmsteads and sleepy villages arrive in Neverwinter and other great cities every year in search of wealth and renown. Known roads may be well-traveled, but they aren't necessarily safe. Fell magic, deadly monsters, and cruel local rulers are all perils that you face when you travel in the Forgotten Realms. Even farms and freeholds within a day's walk of a city can fall prey to monsters, and no place is safe from the sudden wrath of a dragon. The regional map shows just a tiny part of this vast world in a region called the Sword Coast. This is a region of adventure, where daring souls delve into the wreckage of ancient strongholds and explore ruins of long-lost cultures. Amid a wilderness of jagged snow-capped peaks, alpine forests, lawlessness, and the monsters, the coast holds the greatest bastions of civilizations, including the coastal city of Neverwinter. And we're live, guys. <laughs> Hello. That was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, that was our first time playing that intro, which apparently still picks up our Discord sound. So uh, we're, we're learning. Every time we're learning. <laughs> But thank you guys for uh, joining us here. This is episode three of our first campaign, which is the uh, starter set Lost Mine of uh, Fandelver uh, uh, episodical series for D&D 5e. Uh, I'm Sarah. I'm your GM. Uh, I'm the owner of Realm Alternative Productions, and we're really excited to be here today. Um, so why don't we uh, go around and introduce uh, ourselves and our players before we get started. So let's, let's start today with RJ. Well, good morning to everyone who decided to wake up on this beautiful Saturday morning. My name is R.J. Thomas, and I will be playing Gareth Blackstone, 
the lawful good fighter noble who's looking to find his way in the world. And, well, I have a feeling that if things don't shape up, I might end up uh, being the sacrificial victim here because it's not popular. <laughs> Whoops! Spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how about uh, Michael? All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Kuhn. Um, I'll be playing uh, Flint, the halfling rogue today. And, uh, oh god, sorry, you, you caught me off guard. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> uh, talk about that... who you are and your character. <laughs> real hard, real hard instructions, I, I know. I don't know where my copy went. <laughs> Good morning. It's supposed to be right here. Welcome live, uh, folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh great. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be playing Flint, the, the rogue today. Um, Flint is blah, blah, blah. Here, can you come back to me? Let me get my coffee. I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we solved all the tech issues. We're solving some of the tech issues. time doing it. But now, <laughs> we've got tech I issues. I hate my life. <laughs> Actually, folks, we planned this in advance. This is what we like to call bonus content. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's go to Chris next. I'm back. Hi there. I am Chris. <laughs> And I play as Phelan, the elf wizard, who is very non-eccentric and antisocial. Um, and he's not going through a good time right now. He's bleeding a whole lot. Yeah, you But he are. hopes to one day find knowledge. <laughs> what, what's your uh, What's your HP right now? Uh, one out of eight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, let's, uh, Michael, are you ready or you want to, you want to come back? No, you know, hold on, I need a... Okay, Cal is next. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Uh, this fire I'm playing, <laughs> playing Jedediah, the uh, fighter who specializes in archery. Uh, especially after last week, I think uh, it's a good time to talk about one of his downsides. I'm going to read right off the character sheet here because I think I did a pretty good job at it. Uh, he's convinced of the significance of his destiny and blind to his shortcomings and any risk of failures. So I, I think that pretty much sums up last week. What a great Sure does. <laughs> we all got to die. <laughs> all right, Brianna. Hello, I'm Brianna Valentine. I'm playing Sarsora Flameborn, who is the dwarf cleric of the party. Um, she's an ex-military mercenary from the Mintarn Mercenaries, um, who has a very strong sense of conscience. Um, she believes everyone deserves the respect that they deserve. Um, and, uh, she's not doing great, but she's definitely not at one HP, so, you know, we're gonna hope and pray, especially since, uh, she can heal, but she doesn't have a little cantrip called Spare the Dying, which might be useful. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that's what we're doing today. And Michael, come on, buddy. I know, I know. Okay. Slurp, slurp. Okay, this for... <laughs> no, for real. Okay, here we go. I play Flint. Um, Flint is a halfling rogue, um, a, a kind of a troubled rogue, or maybe makes more trouble for others than himself. But I, I kind of view him as, uh, just a guy who marches very much to the beat of his own drum, <laughs> if that makes sense. Totally. And that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> awesome. All right, so uh, as we get started, just a little uh, disclaimer. So these characters are directly from the starter set. Um, so all these characters were um, pre-generated, and uh, we just all chose characters and um, are, are seeing their personalities come to life based on what was written. So um, been a lot of fun to play with these guys so far, and uh, we are excited to have you here. Um, first of all, also, um, this was during the intro playing. Uh, thank you, Zavala, for following us. Yeah. So I think that's a good opportunity for us to uh, roll a d6. Uh, would one Woo, of you do the nice. honors? We're going to do it as... Brianna is one, RJ is two, Chris is three, Michael is four, Hal is five, and I'm six. So would one of you mind uh, doing a little, um, a little rolly roll? 
I would do it. Okay, Brianna, roll me a d6, and we just got another follow. Woo! Woo! Can I roll 2d6? Two you can roll 2d6. Yay! Okay, so we have a 4 and we have a 2. All right, so that's going to go to Michael and RJ. So yeah. thank you guys so much for the, uh, for the follows. Um, I'm really excited. Thanks, We're guys. actually going to hit affiliate status this month. So Yay! thank you guys so much Hell for your support. Yeah. All right. So um, that was the start. Let me look at my, my, my session starting post-it here. Um, so we did our intros. Let's talk about cool nerdy shit. So we had a couple of uh, promotions the past couple weeks, and now RJ is going to um, share his, uh, his cool nerdy shit. Well, thank you very much. This week I would like to give a shout-out to one of my favorite places in the local area. They're called Dragon Bruce. Now, a lot of gamers drink coffee, which, make, which makes this place exceptionally special because not only is it a full game store, but they also have a full coffee bar where you get not only hot drinks, but you can get all sorts of wonderful, wonderful cold drinks. Okay. Plus, in addition to that, they also have a little bit of swag there. So, ooh, so you'll see me sipping from this uh, throughout the sessions, a little bit of product placement. But you can look them up online. Just look up Dragon's Roost. Now, they don't have a full website right now because they're in the transition of moving to an even better, newer, and bigger location. So awesome for that. So if you want to get in touch with them, find out what they can do for you. I have ordered some curbside uh, items from them in the past. So even though you can't take full advantage of their place, they will be more than happy to work with you and help you out during this time where we're all stuck at home doing things like this. Awesome. Thank you so much. So yeah, we've got some great sponsors. Check out the links below under um, the video. If you scroll down in Twitch, you can see uh, some of the vendors we support that we'll be talking about in the, uh, the past episodes and the upcoming episodes. Um, I had everyone pick something uh, that they're proud of or want to uh, help support, especially during such strange times that we are in. We want to support our nerdy local vendors. Um, so thanks, RJ. Um, also, so starting with our episodical series, we are on episode three, like I said, um, and we are working on some bonus content for you. So if you've been having fun with uh, following along so far, and we are on YouTube, uh, if you've missed any of the episodes, but we're going to have even more for you. So uh, Brianna, you want to talk about that a little? Yeah. So um, this is something that I'm really excited about. Um, so. Uh, we obviously love to play this game, but we also love the RP aspect of it. You know, that's one of the, the fun things about a role-playing game is the role-play and the ability to develop these really fun characters. And a lot of times, their personalities can clash in really fun ways. So something that we wanted to do was bonus content. So we'll have things like Garrus' journal and all of his, you know, his thoughts on this party and, you know, how, how lowly they are. And um, um, if... For example, if two characters want to have conversation and game, but we want to keep our pace rolling, we might have a recording or a transcript of that conversation available for you guys to view and to uh, really look at their characters and how they're interacting and have more of this really fun story that we like to create. So um, look out for those conversations. Look out for um, some fun things uh, like videos and transcripts and uh, any kind of conversation, and we'll have it here. We'll have it on YouTube, maybe. You know, just keep an eye out. We'll keep you posted. Yeah, Brianna's been doing some a great job with some ads for us. So she goes through the previous episode and finds the funniest moments that make her giggle and puts them together and we <laughs> drop them on social media. So we'll be adding those links to um, our, our Twitch below for your enjoyment as well. Thanks for Indeed. doing that. All right, so... Um, as usual, here's the disclaimer. If you've never played D&D, it's okay. Um, we're going to try our best to walk you through some of the roles and some of uh, the behaviors here. That might also turn into bonus content, is how to read your character sheet and make some of these roles along with us. Um, so once again, we're glad to have you, and uh, and it doesn't matter your experience level with D&D. Um, we're just hoping you'll enjoy the, the ride with us. Uh, I'm going to skip the setting now because we have our intro videos that kind of go through the background, which I'm super excited about and we'll be adding to. So uh, if you missed it, uh, join us every week about five minutes before uh, uh, 10 o'clock Central Time where we go live. Um, and we will be playing the background so you can get a little bit of that setting in. Um, 
So finally, before we kick back into our adventure, I forgot what happened last week, guys. So, so how? Why don't Why don't you fill us in on uh, on where we are? Well, I happen to remember what happened last Yay! week. So I, I can uh, I can recap. Uh, when we last were with our adventurers, uh, we tracked the goblin back, goblin bandits back to the fort cave in the forest. Uh, we had early hypotheses that this must be a goblin lair, and that was proved correct as goblin sentries ambushed us while we were milling around in front of the cave, discussing whether anyone should be playing in the water streaming out of the cave because it might or might not be a goblin sewer. <laughs> <laughs> Hint, it is. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> so the ambush showed that the party's able to uh, work together and uh, kill efficiently. Uh, got The snipers were pinned down by Sir Gareth and Flint, while the rest of the party brought the snipers down with arrows and spells. However, in contrast, uh, just mere feet inside the cave, we came across a trio of ch uh, wolves uh, guarding the cave, lunging at us and we worked against each other instead uh, as we couldn't agree as to whether to kill or rescue the wolves. Uh, of course the change broke loose and we ultimately compromised by feeding them dead goblins and then just leaving them in place <laughs> still guarding the cave as we pressed in so they're still there in case we need to run back out for any reason. <laughs> Uh, pressing on, we found a fork in the passageways, and we chose to go the more difficult path rather than the easy path. Uh, Phelan had uh, consulted with uh, his beloved Agma, who told him to leave, uh, but we chose the hard road instead. Uh, Jedediah uh, climbed up a tricky hazardous scree of rocks to secure a solid uh, foothold at a at some good footing on a ledge so the party could all go over and explore deeper in and due to us not one but several faulty assumptions uh, Jedediah pushed Phelan down to make room for the next person coming and he had a rough ride down the rocks and landed in front of a cavern full of goblins who were just as surprised as he was <laughs> Uh, we were running short on time, so we kind of narrated that we uh, expended a lot of resources to vanquish the goblins, uh, and their sole leader survives at the back of the cavern, standing atop a ledge, and he called for a parley while holding a human prisoner over the ledge. So being forced with this decision about uh, what to do is where we return to things. Mm-hmm. That's great. Thank you so much, Hal. That was a, a real good summary and uh, very honest. <laughs> <laughs> I detect a little bias here. <laughs> so um, with that, we'll kind of zoom back into to where we left off. Um, uh -oh. So a kind of buff looking uh, goblin is um, on this ledge uh, holding a human that looks terribly beaten um, over the edge and he sh shouts out truce or this human dies um, meanwhile you guys were able to take of the six other goblins that were in here you were able to take three out and three Phelan uh, was able to cast a sleeping spell on and they are snoring um, adding to the ambiance of uh, the cave here um, but they are snoring nearby as um, as this big Goblin looks down at you and waits to see what move you're going to make. Phelan is actively hey. hiding behind Sarsora right now. <laughs> Quite bloody. Uh, quick question. So we know that the, the big goblin is holding the human hostage. Are there any other goblins that are still alive in that cave with us? Yes, but they are sleeping. Oh, okay, just the sleeping ones. Yep. Got it. Okay. There are three sleeping they ones. They haven't had their coffee. I went ahead and Ooh, yes. yeah. I went ahead and deleted uh, the dead ones. So what you see in uh, roll twenty should work. Let me actually switch over to that map. Okay, perfect. And where should we put our icons after this fight was over? Uh, one sec.
Nice. Give it one sec. Okay. Just gotta get the right Discord up. And um, what does this human look like? Does um, does Flint recognize him? Um, you recognize him uh, as um, hanging out with uh, Gundren when he was hiring you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that makes, okay, that makes sense. Is he that bodyguard? So this is probably coming along. I believe so. So this, in fact, is someone we probably want to save. <clears throat> All right, I think I've got everything lined up your names look good yeah yay okay well there's only one way to save a hostage and that's the corbin dallas way <laughs> oh no what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> anyone so? got any ideas any is any so so the goblin is hanging this guy over the ledge. What are you guys doing? Who's saying something? Who's doing something? Uh, Sar Sarsora is gonna um hold out her 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 war hammer to the sleeping ones just to make sure in case none of them wake up and to attack. She's gonna look up and be like, wait wait wait, where's the other one? Well, I haven't had time to really think about my failings, you know, in this failing uh, debacle. So I haven't learned that there's negative uh, downsides, and <laughs> you know, I, I I think an arrow to the face is the best way to negotiate. So is that what you're doing? Uh, I will be trying to subtly draw an arrow so he doesn't drop him while he sees me drawing. So that gives people time to stop me if they really want. Yeah, to. can I make a yeah? So <laughs> what we'll do? We very... still have our initiative turns from this last time. Luckily for nice. all of you, Jed was at the end. <laughs> oh. So we're going to start uh, with Phelan. So, um, Sarsora, if you want to do your wait, 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 uh, and stuff like that on your turn, that's totally fine. But let's take this initiative uh, order so that we can get our actions down. So, cool. Phelan, you first. So if Jed is rearing to loose an arrow at this goblin leader... I'm totally Phelan... sneakily knocking an arrow. <laughs> Um, can you make a stealth roll, uh, Hal? Yeah, I want to find my character sheet. And then we're going to weigh that oh against your God. passive perceptions. Oh! Well. All right. So... Oh, no. <laughs> Um, Hal is, is moving so slow. It's almost like, um, oh gosh, what's his name in, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh He's my gosh, like, Drax. Drax. <laughs> <laughs> I move so yeah, slow. Well, <laughs> I'm already starting to think of parallels. <laughs> <laughs> I think after the Thanos reference in the first episode, we knew what kind of show this was going to be. <laughs> Can you get it? So he's moving so slow that like nothing is catching your guys' eye just naturally. So your passive perception doesn't catch anything. Um, but depending on what you're doing, um, and like if someone's keeping a lookout and stuff like that, that could help. But um, what else are you doing, Phelan? Because you do not notice it at this time. Man, what else can I do? Because I have a minus one to charisma. Um, <laughs> Phelan is gonna stay where he comfortably is and attempt to tend to his wounds because he might have a broken rib he doesn't know do you want to hold action or anything i'm gonna hold my action okay i'm gonna to do what with when what happens um i am going let me see my spells here Okay, um, I'm gonna hold action on um, on Ray of Frost on the uh, on that leader goblin if shit goes down the fan. So. Okay, so leader goblin, if if he starts to fight. Yeah, if it gets bad. 
Okay. And yeah. then uh, what uh, spell are you holding? Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go to the next one, which is... Sarsora. Alrighty, so yeah, I would say she would she would say the same thing. She's got her warhammer against the sleeping ones in case they, you know, start to act up and wake up. Um, she'll look up to the leader and be like, wait, 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 where's the other one? Um, he looks to you and goes, uh, um, the other what? The other human. Two, two were on the road. We presume this is one of them. Do you have the other? There was no other human. There was a dwarf. Where's he then? Uh, that's all we have time for in your turn. Uh, Flint? Um, ah, uh, okay, this is really tough. So, F Flint, I'm gonna, um, how do I do this? He'll take out a dagger, and, and um, rather than, um, like, holding it to a goblet, uh, um, he, he's gonna hold it to his own throat. <laughs> and, um, can, can he, um, I don't know, can, can he, like, um, Hold an action to this. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Can he? Can he? Um, I don't know if this would be like a stealth roll to like hold an action to throw it at the goblin. Um. So say that again. So essentially, what he he wants to hold an action to to throw a dagger at the goblin. Yeah, you can do that. If that makes sense. But like, I don't know if that would be like, like I don't know a deception roll, but. Uh. So you're you're pretending you're holding it against yourself, but really you're gonna throw it if you have to. Correct. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and make a, a, um, a okay. deception. Okay. Uh, please load. Oh, this one. I think. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Very nice. So. Um, you see, like, as, as, uh, the goblin is talking to Sarsora, his eyes flick to you at your movement, and then, like, he gives, like, this squinty look, like... Hey, man! I'm crazy! <laughs> I'll do it! <laughs> Isn't anybody gonna help that halfling? He, he no. kind of, uh, um, like, looks at you curiously, and then kind of, like, shrugs and sh shakes his head, like... That's that's just helping me. <laughs> um, um, can he um can he take a step toward? Oops, I pinged. It. Can I can he take a step toward? Um, yeah, you have the movement. gabo and see what happens. Uh, yeah, he'll take a step, like maybe two steps, just to see. The the, um, if the, the goblin, goblin does uh, um kind of like turns and and looks at you, but he's got you know um this this human near him, um, and kind of like is definitely, like, using the human to kind of meet shield so that if anything happens, he's got some mm. cover. Okay, okay, for sure. All right, next up is Gareth. All right. I will, with great axe in hand, transfer it to just one hand, sliding it all the way up to the axe hilt, and swing it sideways with both of my hands up and sort of a sort of the sign of uh, non-violence, but I'm still keeping it somewhat at the ready. I'll just look at him in my best voice. I'll ask him, Sir, we have stopped. You wish to negotiate. Very well. What are your terms? Great. Jedediah. Okay, time to negotiate. <laughs> time to negotiate. Um... Do I feel like I have a good shot of hitting the goblin without the way he's uh, holding the human? Um, it's it's definitely going to be harder to hit him. He's in, uh, he's in, I'm going to give him partial cover. Okay. Uh, well, it seems like he's really distracted, and this seems like a great time to shoot him, so... Uh. <laughs> Zavala Lash Hitman says, 
cowabunga it Plus, is. Plus, I'll, I'll, I'll prevent the party from having to make any promises that they're going to have to keep now. So this is, like, helpful for everybody. Cowabunga it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me, uh, hold on. <laughs> I don't see any way this could fail. That's, that's my character flaw. Of course not. Oh, we just got a, another follow. Yay! Uh, Alright, can, uh, uh, Michael, how about you roll a d6 for us? And we've got, sure. uh, we'll go in order of the screens on the, on um, Twitch here. Sure. Two. Oh, Two? oh no. That's I just me. gave the goblin I inspiration. Have inspiration. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Thank you so much. That was uh, M Malefic Gamer. Thank you so much for the follow. We really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. All Us? right. Maybe not so much. <laughs> so, um, so you you uh, let the arrow loose. Uh, yep. Let me go ahead and roll. Yep. Make your attack. Oh my god. Was that an? Was that a natural 20? No, it's not a nat 20. What? It ends up being no. a 20. Oh my god. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> Your rolls today, buddy. It was meant to be. I, like I said, there's no way this could fail. Until we see the damage roll. <laughs> yep. Uh, so that's gonna hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. Eight piercing. Is that max damage? Okay, um, I'm gonna need to take your dice away on roll 20. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. Oh my goodness. Bold All is, right, uh, so it, he takes um, eight damage as uh, an arrow hits his shoulder uh, opposite where um, the human is kind of blocking him. Um, and he kind of spins um, out of uh, out of the way as it hurts, and he drops um, Sildar, uh, the the human, over the edge. So he's gonna take some damage. And as uh, the human hits um, the ground, he just crumples and stops moving. So we're back to the top of the order. Or actually, you know what? Yimik was also holding action, so we're gonna go ahead and do that too. So, uh, yeah, I know two of us are holding action. Yep. So everyone will get to go. He's he's going first. All right. So it's gonna go ahead and use um. So as he spins with the pain of his uh, uh, injury. Um, as he turns, he takes out his um, short bow and he's going to shoot at you. Um, so, Jed, I'm hitting at you. One second to get the right uh, sheet open. Right, does a uh, 15 hit you? What's your armor class? So, sorry, who, who, who are you shooting at? Jed. Oh, okay. Wait, what, uh, me? I wasn't even listening. How, how could he still be alive after I shot him? <laughs> <laughs> My armor class is 14. Hooray! Let's hurt you. <laughs> Take four piercing damage. Ow. <laughs> All right. So do I fall down at zero or am you I do. Like, You do. You fall to the ground. Zero? Oh, no. So as Jed very slowly draws his bow, releases an arrow, 
the goblin spins and drops the human, um, comes can back I, and can releases... I... What? Uh, are you allowed to spend inspiration to make the other guy roll again, or is it too late for that? Um... I'm going to say it's a re-roll for your own dice. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to, uh, so you hit the floor um, in, a, a, in a thud at, that your team hears since you're handing, you're standing behind all of them. Um, and now it is Phelan and um, who else was holding action? Michael. So Phelan is first. Yes. Uh, Ray of Frost. <laughs> Ray of Frost. All right. Uh, go ahead and cast. That's gonna yeah. Hit. Go ahead and uh, roll your damage. Four, nice damage. Four, and his movement speed is, speed is lowered by ten. All right. So as you um, you cast this, uh, he's still holding his bow. Um, this ray of frost kind of comes and travels, uh, hits his bow, travels up his arm. Um, and uh, so he's got like an arrow sticking out of one and like just frost covering the other. And he takes a knee um, out of pain, just uh, kind of drops his uh, his bow and hits the ground. Loser. <laughs> he's still alive, um, but. All right, so now it is Michael's turn. Okay, sorry, let me check it. Um... Yep, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the dagger. Just kidding, I'm not. I'm actually going to split my throat. <laughs> you, were, you were so into your ruse and, like, so happy that you were, like, psyching him out and pulling it off that you just, like, flipped it and it kind of hits the wall in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then um, where's the human then? Did he slide off the cliff? Yeah, he is right in front of you. Let me move him on the map here. Okay. Okay, um, can I take a, uh, I don't know if this would take a full action to try and drag him off, like drag him away. Uh, that would be half of your movement. Okay, yeah, let me try that. Um, I'll try and uh, pick him up and start dragging him away. Okay. And, and then I think that would be about 20. What's your movement? Uh, 25. So that Let's means see. that you can only move uh, We'll say 15 feet. Yeah. Okay, so then I think I was right here, so 5, 10. And then I'll just go right here, because I'd be on top of Phelan. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so we're back to the top of the order, so Phelan. Let's get him out of here. Freeze his ass again. Okay. Um, so go for another Ray of Frost. It's unconceivable that goblin is still up after all this damage. Uh, as another um, uh, no. ray of frost comes uh, battling at, or barreling at him, he's on that knee. He looks up, and the last second he kind of dodges out of the way, uh, and the ray of frost uh, shoots past him. Stand still, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up is Sarsora. Uh, Sarsora is going to move over to, um, to the human and try and medicine check, maybe to stabilize. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and take your movement and go ahead and roll your medicine. All right. Please, 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 please. Come on, Betty. Medicine. Yeah, oh, there we go. It was the first one was on. <laughs> A trained doctor. Oof. So, so your first one was the nine? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, do you have inspiration? Would you like to reroll that? Yeah. Can I use that 23? Um, since you know what it is, <laughs> I'm going to say no. You got to reroll oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. All right. Let's do it again. <laughs> do, 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 Please. <laughs> no. Are you kidding? <laughs> So as you run, you rush up to him, uh, oh. you kind of, you, 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 you see where, um, like he's, he's hit his head and he's, he's bleeding. Um, and you kind of like touch the wound. Cause you're like, I think I'm supposed to like 
put pressure, and then you're like, ew, blood! <laughs> so you kind of reel back a little bit, and uh, nothing this turn uh, to help him, unfortunately. All right, so that is um, next up. Flint. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Ah. He'll he'll kind of look around. A anyone know mouth to mouth? And he'll he'll uh, I don't know. He'll he'll start doing um what do you call it uh, CPR where he starts like pushing on his chest. He has no idea what he's doing. So do you want to do a medicine check? Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Medicine. <laughs> oh my god! You're right. You have no idea what you're doing. Uh... Don't put the tourniquet around his neck. It's never a good idea. Please roll a d6. Oh my god! Actually, make it a d4. I'll oh, take I'm so that sorry. Back. I'll roll that again. Okay. Right, cool. cool. <laughs> um, you feel uh, ribs crack as you as you do this. Well, that's what happens in CPR for real, so, I mean... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. yeah I this. got it. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to press on the neck, on the chest. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're not supposed to, like, fall while you're doing, um, while you're doing chest compressions. I'm stopping the bleeding! Well, he's little. He's, he's got to stop the elbow drops. The he's stopping somewhere like... else more. All right, Garrett's turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Quick, uh, quick question about the tactical situation. Uh, how tall is that ledge between me and Big Goblin guy over there? Ten feet. And there is that little oh. staircase to the right. All right. So. CPR, crush people's ribs. <laughs> okay. You know what? Kids don't try this at home. I'm going to just We're pull out liable. a javelin. Actually, I'm just going to pull out a javelin and stick him. All right, so you're running up there and you're gonna engage in uh, melee? No, throwing. Oh, you're throwing. Okay, go ahead and uh, make your attack. <laughs> All right, so as uh, you throw, this guy is very determined. Uh, <laughs> so he dodges that, that, uh, that ray of frost and then uh, immediately uh, sees you and hits the dirt as the uh, the javelin goes sailing over his head. Meh. And Jed, I need a death saving throw from you. Yeah, that's not good. You never so want to hear that. For those uh, that haven't played D&D &D before, if you hit zero hit points, you fall unconscious, and it's basically kind of like you're, you're bleeding out a little bit. You're not dead yet, uh, but you get um, three, well, you get death saving throws on each of your turns. If you get three successes, then you kind of stabilize and you're not going to die. If you get three failures, your character is dead. So, you can roll up to what? It's a good thing everybody times. likes Jed and they're not going to let that happen. <laughs> well, they're all helping <laughs> the other guy right now. <laughs> well, yeah, watching that halfling do elbow drops uh, as CPR, maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> well, he, well, he's small. He, he, you got to give it more yeah, weight. I, I get it. I get it. I'm just, I'm just mad at that guy, not me. <laughs> it could be in a moment. <laughs> All right. Oh, so uh, he has failed his first yeah. death save. So make sure you tick that on your character sheet. Oh my god, no. Now we're at the end of the order, um, and uh, so we've got, uh, I'm going to make a death saving throw for the human. My god, why? <laughs> Bro. All right, well, with the damage that uh, Flint ca caused, <laughs> and the five I just rolled, he has two of his death saves failed. Oh my god! So, run it out of time Let's here. Kill. Let's um, just kill him. No! No! The goblin <laughs> throws down his uh, scimitar. Uh, he's already dropped his bow, puts his hands up and say, I surrender. I surrender! Oh my god. Something good, finally. <laughs> yes. He has, he has one hit point left. He's like, please, please stop hitting me with these. Oh, he has one point. Hit, hit point left. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Uh, so he really wants to surrender, huh? Um, hmm. I have information. And then uh, we're back to the top of the order. Speak Kaylin. then, and we might. What was that, RJ? Well, I apologize if I jumped the gun here a little bit. I I didn't know if combat was over yet. I will wait till my turn to okay. do what I want to do. You got it. All right, Phelan. Phelan's pretty mad right now. I don't think he's ever been this mad before. Um, <laughs> except that one time he had to drink water. Except that one time I drank water without flavoring it with prestidigitation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But, um, let's see here. Uh, can Phelan get up there? Uh, yeah. Okay, there's, cool. there's the stairwell to the, to the left. Okay. So Phelan's going to get up there. And as he's walking up there, he goes... What information do you have? Um, so he, he kind of looks up at you um, and, uh, and says, uh, uh, I, I know what comes ahead. Uh, I, I know who leads this cave and I know where your friend is. And he looks at Sarsora. Well, spill it, idiot. That's the all the time we have for your turn. <laughs> Sarsora? Um, she is, well, first she's going to push Flint's ass off of, a uh, oh, no. human. <laughs> no. um, and, <laughs> um, we're going to try and do one more medicine check, please. Um, and hope it doesn't go wrong, um, on this human. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy oh, crap. No. There we go. So as you oh, drag uh, Flint off, uh, you manage, you're like, you kind of steal yourself against uh, the blood flow and you um, kind of get your hands to staunch some of the bleeding. Um, and uh, you can you can almost see like he, he had been turning like white and pasty. Um, and, uh, and as you reach to feel for a pulse, it seems to settle um, and, and get a little bit stronger. Cool. And then she's gonna um, look up to Gabo and be like, where is he? Just very firmly. Cool. Uh, Flint? Um, Flint was gonna look around to see if he could find any, like, some sort of medicine or bandages in the cave. And he'll, he'll look to the, um, the head Gabo and be like, uh, okay, do you, you have any bandages anywhere? You got any uh, Neosporin? Come, come on, give us something here. We, we, we have someone dying. Hurry up. <laughs> love it. Love it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this cave is divided in half by the 10-foot high uh, escarpment. Um, the steep uh -huh. natural staircase leads from the lower portion to the upper ledge. Uh, the air is hazy okay. with the smoke of a cooking fire and pungent from the smell of poorly cured hides and unwashed goblins. So this is really more like a mess hall where they have their uh, meals and uh, and chill out. Um, so mm. go ahead and make are there any like investigation okay. check? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. What did I get? Did I get? Oh, I got an eleven. Okay. Um. So you find like a couple of bedrolls and stuff like that, but they're so dirty. Um, you're not sure that you really want to put that on. <laughs> a person's, yeah, like. It's like you need to make a con save just to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay then. Uh, 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 okay, all right, all right, all right. And he'll, he'll go over to uh, the human and just um. Just be there for moral support. Brush his hair out of his face and. Uh, push up his head like with his hands and start cradling him <laughs> I'm helping I'm helping <laughs> Garrett it's your turn. okay at this point I will join Phelan <laughs> just vertical leaps up the ledge <laughs> and I at the 
eh, I went up the stairs, but, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I looked down at the goblin. This time my axe at the ready, and I will simply say, where is the dwarf? How many of your compatriots remain? Okay, and he'll he'll answer on his turn because uh, his reaction was spent by Phelan. Um, okay. I gurgle out. It's constipations, not compatriots. Oh. <laughs> You're unconscious. You can't make your. Oh, sorry. He's talking to you. You're not dead yet. Misnomers yet. <laughs> All right. So we are uh, after Gareth is um, Jed. So let's make a death saving throw. You can do it. I can do it. Watch this. You can do oh, it. You have inspiration. I do have inspiration. <laughs> do you feel inspired not to die? There yeah. We go. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. So one fail, one <laughs> save. You still uh still still need to uh get through a lot more rolls there. <laughs> Okay, so um, at the bottom of the order, um, the human is stable, um, but the but unconscious, and uh, the um, goblin is gonna um, kind of start talking. Um, My name is Yemic, and I don't know how many you've taken out yet, but the rest of the cave will know you're here by now, so there is no surprise. Um, he says that, um, he starts spilling the beans, guys. Good. Um, Good. so... We this then. Um, he's like, I don't know what, how many you guys took out, but there, uh, are a little less than 20 of us total. Um, and our leader is a bugbear named Clark. Uh, he answers to... King Grawl, chief of the Kragmaw tribe, who d uh, dwells in Kragmaw Castle. Um, he, he even gives you basic directions. He says uh, that Kragmaw Castle is about 20 miles northeast of where you are now in the Neverwinter Wood. Um, he also tells you <clears throat> Clark received a uh, messenger goblin from King Brawl a few days ago, and the messenger told him that someone named the Black Spider was paying the Kragmaws to watch out, watch out for the dwarf Gundren Rockseeker, capture him, and send him any him and anything he was carrying back to King Brawl. Uh, Clark followed his orders. Gundren uh, was uh, ambushed and taken along with his personal effects, including a map, and all was delivered to King Brawl as instructed. Uh, the dwarf's um, uh, human companion uh, is is this guy here in front of you. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> now, how do you spell Are... growl? As Phelan opens his book. <laughs> <laughs> one that looks like a circle <laughs> <laughs> oh my god ah, I see you get along very well with Jedediah <laughs> oh my god I have a question Yeah. is combat effectively over yes uh, but I do need okay. another death saving throw from Jed ah Oh, no! <laughs> can, can I run over in medicine? Yes, you can. Oh my god, I thought we were in initiative. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give him CPR. No. Don't you don't. touch him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We be doing the medicine. Come on, man. Ah! Okay. Um, so, uh... You, you feel less confident about your work on uh, Jed, um, but you um, were able to kind of um, get the arrow out and staunch the bleeding um, so that like the pool of blood that was forming around him doesn't seem to spread any further. Mm -hmm. um, Jed, you um, are stable. 
Huzzah! Unconscious! Yay! Yes, yay. Alright. If I may, I would like to, with my axe, I will use bludgeoning or stun, whichever it is called. I'm not going to try to kill him. And just basically thump head goblin just enough to where he's out so he can't start screaming at the very least. I will and then I'll look at everyone says, and tell them, I think it is time we depart this cave. We've got the information. Our employer is not here. It is best we leave, heal up, and secure ourselves before we decide what else to do. Does everyone agree? Gundren's not captured here. He's in the castle? Yeah. I, he is. Going farther into this cave serves no further purpose. Tactically, it is sound to fall back and regroup. Yes, and I know. very much agree. I have some wounds to attend to. Who is All our right. most wounded right now? Faith. Uh, uh, I would say Jedediah. probably... Yeah, I was going to say probably that guy. guy. The one who can't answer is the most wounded. It's funny that you think Phelan cares. <laughs> Gareth will look at Sarsora and says, which one is the most severely wounded and are we able to move them? If you all can help me lift Jed, he's unconscious. If he's oh, my hands are full. Book is too big and all. No, Fine. I think if... he's got arms. Hey, hey, what about Gareth flying actually looks at, looks at Phelan with the same look, because like, yeah, she's right. Well, I don't find myself willing to help the man who shoved me down a tunnel. Get up. We'll deal with any of that later. Right now, it is survival. Also, <laughs> and I'll get a little closer, if you decide to lollygag, I might be so inclined as to find other methods to motivate you. I wasn't the one lollygagging. I was here before anyone else. And Phelan's going to start walking down the stairs to Jedediah. Gareth, can you... And she'll, like, can you help? <laughs> he nods and will uh, <laughs> basically do a... I say we do a double fireman's carry kind of thing. Yeah. I'm waiting to see if we want to try doing that uh, scree slope again or if we're just going to walk across that unexplored bridge and find more monsters anyway. <laughs> hey, wait. Wait. Uh, shouldn't we do something with, uh, and he'll, he'll kick the goblin's head. Should we bring him with? <laughs> uh, what, for the wolf? Sleep. I mean, he might be good to just bring along. He could be Are a you pet. going to try befriending everything we come across? No, he's not a friend. He smells like poop. I mean, like, <laughs> uh, what is it? So did the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually... Well, He's, I think it's best if you come with those of us who are carrying our wounded. Let's depart. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. And, Better luck uh, next time. He'll he'll take a bedroll and put it under the goblin's head and then just leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Um... As you um, make your way, do you want to um, head back up and over the, um, the the rubble, or do you want to um, try to find another way out? The rubble is safer, I guess, because um, we've explored it, but it's also harder, so Ask question Bayless mark. how much damage you take if you fall. <laughs> Oof. I would say yeah. um, because you guys know what to expect because you've been through it already, you can make your um, your dex uh, saves with advantage. Oh, thank God. What do you think, y'all? I've, I've got a yes. rules question for the DM. Sure. Can you use second wind while you're unconscious? No. Okay. Sorry. All right. You Actually, can no, do nothing I'll... but sleep. <laughs> yeah, All right, so um, can I get deck saves with advantage from each of you as you make it back over? Um, except for Indeed. Jed. And uh, who are the two that are carrying, um, or who are the ones carrying Jed and the human? Um, I believe Sora and Gareth were carrying Jedediah, if I'm correct. 
if I remember that correctly. So uh -huh. and Gareth, okay. And I guess Phelan is helping Flint uh, carry our buddy over here. And really fast, I'm going to use my inspiration to re-roll that dex check, if I may. Go right ahead. Um, Flint, you make it over real easy. Okay. Much better. So, so I'm going to keep that first dex save that you had. Mm -hmm. um, you struggle a little bit, especially with carrying, but you, you make it over. Um... Galen, uh, you have a little bit of difficulty, um, but you don't totally botch, so you kind of like slip and slide, um, but you manage to uh, you manage to do it. Okay. And um, Gareth, uh, you manage to get over as well. All right, good. So no extra damage from that. Um, so as you make your way out of the cave, um, you notice that the wolves are gone. Oh. <laughs> well, if you love something, let it go. Maybe Bear will come back. So, yeah. are you guys, where are you headed, um, right now? Out. out of the, yeah, out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe back to the uh, the wagon. Yeah, where Agma told us to go. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you guys make it back um, to the wagon with little uh, little hardship, um, other than uh, slow pace because you're carrying uh, people with you, so you're kind of at half speed. So it takes you um, probably about two hours to get back. Um, but once you're there, um, the wagon is still there. The ox is. Uh, are oxen are still there. You're 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 in good did shape. We, did we leave that other guy who was unconscious behind? The goblin. No, Flint and I carried him. Got it. So the the goblin did not come, but the human and the and Jed were carried. Yeah. Yeah. What's next, guys? Okay. Can we short rest? Yeah, yes, maybe a can. short rest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Please. <laughs> Uh, so the rules of a short rest, um, I actually put um, Chris in charge of being our rules lawyer. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, how short rests work? So I'm going to take a peek in the starter set rule book over here. Awesome. Table of contents. Let's see here. Looks like it'd be on page 15. Sorry, give me a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. A short rest is the period of downtime, at least one hour long, during which a character does not does nothing more strenuous than eating, drinking, reading, and tending to wounds. A character can spend one or more hit dice during a short rest, up to the character's maximum number of hit dice, which is equal to the character's level. So we would all have just one hit dice. Um, for each hit die spent in this way, the player rolls the die and adds the character's con mod to it. The character regains hit points equal to the total. The player can decide to spend an additional hit die after each roll. A character regains some hit dice upon finishing a long rest, as, ex as explained uh, below for long resting, whenever we get to that. All right, so it is uh, late in the day at this point. So I'm gonna leave it up to you um, if you guys want to rest here on the roadside. Um, for a long rest, or if you want to just take a short rest and keep on going. If it's later in the day, should we long rest and take watches? That actually sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, do we really yeah. want to risk actually traveling along the path at night? Yeah, I it might be better. It's like a though. fine idea. So as mm -hmm. you get to back to camp then, uh, go ahead, Jed, and um, use your um, short rest die so that you can be conscious, conscious during the long rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's vocabulary starting to rub off. It is. The vocabulation. <laughs> <laughs> um. Nice. Nice. 
Why is he rolling I hot? <laughs> I'd only remember to do that before shooting. <laughs> yeah, but you have to be out of combat for an hour. Oh, we could have talked to him for an hour, I bet. <laughs> you seem chatty. All right, so you go up uh, uh, 10 uh, hit points. So um, you guys with that are in uh, short, in long rest mode. So why don't you guys discuss uh, taking your watches? Um, and we're uh, go ahead and do some uh, RP. I'm going to take a step away just to uh, use the restroom. And But you guys can do your RP and uh, assign your watches. I'll take first watch if you all like. Uh, I will take first as well. What happened, Good. you guys? Last I remember, he was killing that goblin. Well, uh, he didn't like that here. too much. <laughs> he didn't like that too yeah, much. He took an arrow. How many people per watch do we want to assign? Uh, two. two? One per. I will say uh, that um, as an elf, I do have that four-hour meditation, so I don't have to sleep for eight hours. Thick elf trade. Okay. We love trance. Uh, Are we going to build our camp right here on the side of the road, or do we want to fall back a bit? I say we fall back into the trees a little bit, see if we can find a spot that would provide at least a little bit of cover and make it more difficult for anyone who might attack us to do so. Yeah, I think that would be the best bet. Yeah. Do we want to keep a fire going through the night, or do we want to be dark? Uh, maybe put it out after the first watch. Yeah, but we want people to be able to rest up a little bit and get some kind of comfort, but not overnight, because we don't know if any of those remaining... Goblins might want to come running around out for us for revenge. <laughs> we didn't kill them all. No, no. we uh, we 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 left um the big the big gobbo um what was his name? Uh, Doesn't Chris? matter. He was dealt with. Klein. He had a name. Yeah, Mick. Mick. Yeah, Mick. Yeah, Mick. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't kill him, and we didn't bring him with, so. I mean, my guess is he might eventually come back, or, or I don't know. Well, hopefully if he does, we'll be ready. All right, so Sarsura, Phelan, oh. future first watch. Uh, I shall take the second. Um, Jedediah, how healthy are you feeling right now? Oh, I feel like uh, I feel pretty good, actually. That, uh, the rest was uh, just what I needed. All right, you shall take second watch with me then, if, unless anyone has any objections. Not me, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a sigh, but <laughs> progress. And, and Flint, who will you be with? Uh, in, in my third watch? I can watch with fun. the horse. <laughs> I can wake up and do third watch with you as well. That sounds uh, a little better. Also, yeah, uh, as uh, you short rest, um, the human comes to consciousness as well. Mm. Okay. So, and uh, as he wakes, um, you realize he tells you his name is uh, Sildar. Um, Sildar. Sildar. Hall Winter. Um, and I he is, Sildar. he is happy to, uh, to take his part in, uh, in watch as well. Oh, then he could take third. <laughs> so um, who is, um, okay. taking third watch? Uh, I'm going to establish the pea corner and he'll go pee on a tree. <laughs> and I'm going to go pee in real. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, that's the role play. Now we all it. know where Michael's pea corner is. <laughs> Um, I'd like to propose uh, a bonus content idea, if we can. Please don't uh, say it's the P-Corp. No. <laughs> uh, conversations uh, during watch. What? Sure. We are going to go into um, a little bit with, um, with uh, Flint and Silvar. Mm-hmm. So as, as he wakes up during the uh, watch and you guys are kind of headed to bed, um, 
to get your rests. Uh, he um, kind of like takes his time to, to heal up and, and to get his full night's rest. Um, but then uh, he's, he's feeling better by the time of his watch and he's ready to kind of talk a little bit. So um, when Michael returns, we will delve into that a little bit. Da, 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 da. All right. All right. So Flint's. Um, yeah. Brianna mentioned that some of our side chat conversations can happen uh, offline for bonus content. Oh, um, perfect. Okay. But you and me are going to have some conversation because you are taking watch with Silar. Perfect. Okay. So what you find out about. Um, uh, Sildar, he is very collected, very calm. Um, he's around 50-ish um, and uh, very honorable, um, and very kind. Uh, listen, like one of those people that like when you talk to him, uh, he doesn't like look away everywhere. Like he is focused on your conversation. Um, mm. He uh, tells you that he met Gundren in Neverwinter. Um, and came with him to Fandalen uh, to uh, investigate the disappearance of Yarno Albrecht, who is a, a human wizard and a member of the Lord's Alliance, which um, Sildar is also a member of. Um, he also believes in um, helping Fandalen um, retur well, return after a very long time um, to prosperity and lawlessness or lawfulness. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, so he really wants to assist Gundren and, uh, the other, uh, rock seekers in reopening the mine, um, and, and restoring, uh, Vandalen to wealth and prosperity. Hmm. Um. It sounds like a nice dude. He's, he's very put together. He's a nice guy who couldn't possibly be a goblin double agent. <laughs> um so anything you want to talk to him about tonight yeah i mean uh when did he uh get when did he get split up with gundren and and what was he doing with the gabos um <laughs> well there was a uh a uh, ambush. We were on our way. We were almost to Pendalen, and uh, we were ambushed. And uh, they they got the best of us, and we were knocked unconscious. There were about twelve of them. And uh, mm. when I came to, I was in that cave where you found me, and uh, they they continued to um, beat me. They didn't seem like they wanted anything in particular from me. But they separated me from Gundren, and I, I heard what you heard, um, that he was being taken to this Cragmaw castle. You ever hear of this place? I'm not familiar with it. What, from what I can gather, um, it is somewhere to the northeast. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um... Looks like we're gonna have to search for your uh, your friend over there then. Um, I uh, I also hmm. heard uh, the goblins mention that the black spider sent word that the dwarf was to be brought to him, and I don't I don't know what the black spider is, but they got a spider. Oh, maybe that sounds like Ooh. spiders Ooh. can't talk. It could be a lie. You're sleeping, Jed. Just sleep talking. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dreams is he having? <laughs> well, I, I appreciate the information, Zildar. Uh, uh, this this is getting kind of complicated for me, but, but okay. Uh, what about you? What will you do when we get back to uh, Van Dalen? I have work to, to do. I... I uh... We need to find uh, the other rock seekers and get um, started on uh, getting the mine opened uh, and make sure everything is in order in Pandalen itself. Okay. Um, 
Do you know what we should do with uh, this cart when we get to Fandalen, seeing as, uh, as Gundren's kind of not here anymore? Well, he had arranged for the drop-off to still happen and for payment to be made uh, by you uh, getting it to... getting it to Barthin's provisions. Oh. So when we get yeah. there... Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the owner, uh, I, I believe his name is Barthin, um, but I've not met him before. Um, he, uh, yeah, he should have payment I, I for us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, okay. I think so, bud. So, and, uh, yeah, that's as, about as morning comes, um, and everyone is roused, um, to continue on, um, he greets each of you more formal, uh, more formally, and um, he gives you a little bit more information. Um, so you hear that uh, the three Rockseeker brothers, uh, Gundren, Thardin, and Nundro, um, recently located an entrance of the long lost Wave Echo Cave, um, site of the mines of the Fandelver's Pact. Um, which we heard about in our background before the stream. Um, Clark, uh, the bugbear who leads the goblin band where you just were, had orders to waylay Gundren. Um, Sildar heard from the goblins about the black spider, um, saying that Gundren was to be brought to him. Um, Gundren did have a map on him showing the secret location of Wave e Echo Cave, but the goblins took it when they captured him. Um, Sildar believes that the, that Clark sent the map and the dwarf to the chief of the Kragmaws at a place called Kragma Castle. Um, he had overheard that it was in the Northeast, but he's not sure where it is. Um, and he also suggests that someone in Fandalin might know. Um, and then, uh, Sildar's contact in Fandalin is a human wizard, um, uh, named Yarno Albrecht, um, and he traveled to the town two months ago uh, to establish order there, um, but afterwards the Lord's Alliance received no word from him, and so Sildar decided to investigate. Um, he also says that he intends to continue on to Van Dalen, um, and uh, offers um, to pay uh, you guys 50 gold pieces to provide es escort. Um, he does clarify, though, he says, um, Apologies, I know uh, words are wind and we have just met each other, but uh, I have no uh, funding on me, but within a day of arrival at Pendalen, I should be able to, to secure your payment. That's he right. was a man of honor, so... Yeah, we don't need a sure. formulaic contract. I think we'll help. Cool. We can, yeah, what we, can, said. we can fit it in the schedule. Uh, how far are we from Fandalen anyway? Um, it should only be um. Oh. A couple. It should only be about a couple days' journey left. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, let's get a move on then. So heading back to or heading onward to Fandalen. Sounds yeah. good. All right, let me check off all the stuff you guys did. And actually what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna give you guys 150 XP. Yeah. Which should allow you to level up. <gasps> ah! Yeah. So Yay. for next session, you guys will be level two. Maybe that's something you could play that's with so fun. content on too. Boom. Oh, wait, sweet. Um, Silver also Yay, says, I get more spells! <laughs> uh, Silver also kind of makes mention like as, as you guys plan to continue. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on push to talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was wondering, I was like... <laughs> I was like, where did you go? Um, so, um, Silver does mention, uh, as you guys prepare to travel on toward Van Dalen. He kind of looks wistfully back um, the, the way of the, the goblin path and says, um, um, 
I, I do feel um, for future travelers that um, these raids will continue. Um, I understand if, if you don't feel um, you are equipped well enough to um, help stop this effort, but I hope someone does. Is he talking about the goblins in the castle or the goblins back here in the cave we just left? Back in the cave. Oh, well, I'm all for going back in there and showing them what's what. It's just we could, it's uh, choices and options for you guys, so. Well, how about this? Why don't we go collect our payment and, uh, yeah, while maybe we're, we could talk about while supplies. We're picking up and... some Luke or some merchants are getting killed here on the road. Hmm. Unfortunately, that is not a situation we can deal with right now. It's a good suggestion. Let us get to Van Dalen, regroup, and then figure out our next action there. I don't know. Does, uh, does Agnes have anything to say about that? The Phelan will not respond to that. What, he's just what about you, Dr. Book. Dora? He's listening, but he's just looking at his book. It doesn't make me comfortable, but I think we have more pressing matters. I understand. Sorry, Jed. All right. Maybe so, not. <laughs> All right, so um, you guys make your way to Van Dalen. Um, as you, uh, get closer, uh, is there any, anyone, anything anyone wants to talk about on their way there? Failing yeah, answers. uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I, I have something I gotta say to the group. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, hey, hey, hey guys, uh, before we, we go into Van Dalen, uh, ugh. How I put this? I'm not exactly welcome here, really. Why? By everyone. You people. accepted. You accepted a job in a town you're not welcome in. Yeah, well, that that was just for the drop off. But seeing as you know, we we might need to, you know, go inside the stores and 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 just see people. You know, I, I I might be on some bad terms with some people, so I might just. Stand outside or, or, or something. Define bad terms. Uh, I don't know. I used to, I don't know, do drugs, I guess. I don't know. What do you care? Uh, because we'd like to know <laughs> who we're traveling. <laughs> we'd, like to know, we'd like to know who we're traveling with. I think we already know, right. don't we? Okay, well, I have a good idea not... of who we're traveling Somebody with. who likes dogs and thinks CPR is elbow drops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I used to be in a bad group, and I used to rob people in this town, and I, what I don't was, do it anymore. What was the name of that group? I don't know. Blue Brands? Green no. Brands? Red Brands? The Red, red brands? brands? Yeah, yeah. I'm not one of them anymore, though. I'm... Just trying to make a living doing some other stuff, okay? Are you sure? Because it seems awfully sure. convenient that uh, the, the one job you would seem to take would bring you back to a group you were formerly in. A group that I at least know to have a very bad reputation. What, okay, what, what, what do you want? Get, get, off, get off my butt. I, 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 I want to know if we can trust you. I mean, I'm telling you now, aren't I? What, what more do you want? Do you do you need uh, Jesus Christ over there to call on God the Father and tell you about all all about me? Who is Jesus Christ? I have not heard. Of this. <laughs> I think is it's that Akbar. the Lord, or is that some sort of uh, general? <laughs> Look, I I get it. I know you're trying to be honest. I just I'll tell you the truth. One of the reasons I came here was to. To get at them, get at the red brands, and I'm well, not particularly fond of them. And if well, who better I don't know. to point them out than somebody who knows who they are? I mean, they they're, they're pretty easy to spot. They they kind of run the show in this town. They wear like yeah. the scarlet cloak. 
Yeah, so I've heard, and they push their weight around. Well, he doesn't have a lot of weight, so we can trust that. <laughs> what color robe was he is uh, Flint wearing now? It's uh, it's more like a uh, like a dark gray turquoise. Shave your head and keep your cloak up. They won't recognize you. <laughs> shave my head? What do you mean shave my head? What's that gonna do? I just think it'd be funny. <laughs> Listen, I'm not shaving anything. All right, but, uh, all right. I would ask. I, I'm gonna let us let us remain calm for right now. But let me ask you this, Flint. Do you give your word right here, right now, that you mean none of us no ill will, and that you will do the best of your ability until, at the very least, we get to the town to help protect yeah. each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bet my left nut on it. Not the most eloquent of oaths, but under the circumstances, I'll take it. But we're watching right. you. Yeah, I, I mean, I, let's, look, I'm not going to double cross any of you. I, I know everyone in town. I, I know everything about the town. My, my aunt even lives in the town. I, I can introduce you. Um, oh, I'm but, sticking up for Flint. I, I, I think he hasn't done anything to earn our distrust, so... He gave his word. That is good enough for me. For right. now. Fine. You can. I'm you not can even going to insist on a medical examination to ensure that he has a left nut. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the oath of testicular truth. Yes, there it is. For fear of losing <laughs> one, upon penalty of lying. <laughs> the stakes are high now. <laughs> Dear Turtle, I'm going to start the, a new entry. Oaths I shall never make. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Alright. So, with that, uh, anything else people want to cover on their journey? I'm sure that. Uh, Jedediah, over the course of several days, is gonna come to realize what he did to Phelan and feel guilty about it. Oh, and, good. Uh, we we could do his apologizing in a uh, bonus content. I, I figure that's gonna Aww. has all sorts of fun ways to go. Aww. Oh yes. <laughs> Excellent. All right, last call before we move on. Feeling good. All right, we are now in. Vandalin. I've got a new overlay. <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, so this is a map of Vandalin, which by the way, I realize that we have been mispronouncing. It's just, it says in the book it's supposed to be Vandalin, but, but oh. it's a No, that's a lame place, pronunciation. And, and whoops. <laughs> oh no. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and, uh, it's Van Dalen in my heart. Right. So, uh, you guys are coming in from the north on this uh, this map. Can everyone see the, the map? And right there? Nope. Okay. You can Actually, just hop in the Discord chat or something if you have. Look on, look I on, think she has uh, to move. Twitch. There it is. All right. So as you guys uh, make it to town, um, it's uh, kind of midday, mid-afternoon, um, and uh, Sildar um, advises, um, he's like, if you uh, wish to take a look around town, you can feel free, uh, but as for me, um, I will uh, be headed to the inn to secure lodging for the night and uh, get some rest since we've been on the road so long. Yeah, that makes what sense. are the best lodges in this area? The Stonehill Inn has rooms available. That's where you would want to stay. Should you be able Very to Very good, afford I think. It. I think I can manage. So is the Shrine of Luck a gambling hall or a temple or both? Uh, that is a temple. And I'm actually going to shut up about the town because you've got someone in your group that knows this town pretty darn well. 
It's true. Yeah, Flint can show us all the fun places to go. Yeah. Um, so he's gonna put up his hood. Anyone got any, like, makeup or something? No. Well, should we... Where are we supposed to deliver the cart again? Oh, yeah, um... That's probably the first thing we should we do. Got, we, we gotta deliver that to the Bards and uh, Provisions. Yeah, Bards and Provisions. There's a trading... There's a trading post. Cool. Um, so, as, as you guys get into the town, too, I keep forgetting to read you box cards, so let me do that real quick. <laughs> oh, okay. With uh, Preston Digitation, I could make like a small trinket. Could I make like a fake mustache for Flint to wear? Make him a mask. So it's up to one hour, and I could have two effects simultaneously sure. going at a time. Sure. So I'll just keep redoing it as we go, and I'll. It'll be a new mustache every hour. It disappears for, for like a second and then... <laughs> it disappears and it will be like a new... It'll be his hair color, but it'll be a different style. And I'll let... I'll let, uh, I'll let Michael choose what kind of facial hair it is. <laughs> yeah. 70s. Hmm. 70s. It's got to be a mustache. Handlebar. It's got to be that small, yeah. though. Curly handlebar. All right. So here's yeah, your I'll, I'll text, guys. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the rutted track emerges from a wooded hillside, and you catch your first glimpse of Fandalen. The town consists of 40 or 50 simple log buildings, some built on old fieldstone foundations. More old ruins, crumbling stone walls covered in ivy and briars, surround the newer houses and shops, showing how this must have been a much longer, larger town in centuries past. Most of the newer buildings are set on the sides of the cart track, which widens into a muddy main street of sorts as it climbs toward a ruined ma manor house on a hillside at the east of town. As you approach, you see children playing on the town green and townsfolk tending to chores or running errands at the shop. Many uh, at the shops. Many people look up to you as, the, as you approach, but all return to their business as you go by. Um, uh, a couple of them, as you see, um, kind of, their eyes kind of narrow when they, um, they see, uh, um, Flint. Um, <laughs> oh, no. And one or two scurry inside. So is this town a, uh, a crossroads of any kind, or is this uh, the end of a spur? Um, it does continue on, uh, to, um, like there's a mining road, uh, below. Um, and if we look at our map here, let me change it back to our lost mine map um or our, our sword coast map rather so that'll pop up in twitch there it is um so fandalen kind of you can kind of continue there's west bridge if you were to continue on the trigor trail okay. um there's leyland um but it kind so of like the road kind of veers off um into fandalen itself okay so travelers coming through is is an everyday occurrence yeah they've they've had Okay. Travelers, uh, it's it's not a big offset, and it's not particularly proper, prosperous yet, and it's pretty new. Um, so, like, there's not a lot of um, like there's not a ton of adventures that come uh, passing through, but it does happen as a, a stop on the road. Um, I'll, I'll point out to Gareth that uh, you know that that ruined manor up on the the hilltop that we see. You know, maybe uh, if you don't like being an adventurer, you can come in and be there. Their local lord looks like they need one. <laughs> I'm totally serious too. I'm not... that as appealing as that suggestion is, I believe I'll pass. Now you guys said you wanted to stop and drop off the provisions first, correct? The Seems like a smart first thing to yep. do to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Take care of that. Flint knows um, exactly where uh, Barthen's Provisions is, which is where Gundren had told you to go. Um, it is the biggest trading post in town, um, and it seems to, uh, as you step in, it has um, uh, shelves stocked with uh, tons of gear um, that you might need um, or want. Um, and there is a um, human... Uh, he's lean and balding, uh, and he's around 50-ish, but he looks up as you enter and goes, Ah, visitors, what can I do for you? We're more than visitors. 
We were instructed to drop off this cart of supplies at this location. Oh, you are, uh, your, uh, Gundren's hires. That yes. is correct. How is our Gundren doing? I, I expected him a few days ago. He must be running late. Not he's, very well. He's missing. Missing? What do you, what do you mean? He's been subducted. <laughs> he's, he's, I'm sorry, what? Kidnapped. Taken. Yeah. It's an ambush on the main or on the main highway here. It seems that a pack of goblins waylaid him and his escort. Currently, his whereabouts are unknown. That's yes, deeply saddening. I, he's he's a friend of mine, um, and he was so excited about about the mine. We've not given up on him yet. Good. It. it, it I, I, Is I his hope buddy with us? Find him. Uh, no, uh, he he ventured out toward the the inn. Okay. Oh, yeah, otherwise, we could just say, "Yeah, tell him." Nope, it's just you guys. But where are my manners? Uh, my name is Elmar Barthen. Uh, I I run Barthen's Provisions, um, and and of course. Or Barthen. Do, do you still have your, uh, or do, do you still have the supplies? Uh, they were on our wagon, right? Yeah. yeah. Indeed, we do. Yeah. Um, They're right here on the conveyor. Well, uh, uh, he kind of calls over his uh, shoulder, um, and two, um, uh, like, teenage boys appear. Ander, Thistle, unload the cart, boys. Um, and he immediately kind of rushes around uh, the counter and starts counting out um, ten gold pieces for each of you. Yay, money! Um, he he uh, still seems very frazzled by the news of Gundren, and he goes, "You know, uh, the 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 other two brothers, uh, Nundro and Tharden, uh, they're camping outside of town. Um, they they've been gone a ten days, so they they should be back soon to resupply, and and they'll want to know." You said they're outside of town. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly where they're cap camping, but they, they should be back soon. Thank you. Good sir, it would, good sir, if it would not be too much trouble if they do make it to your store, could you give them my name? I am Lord Gareth Longstone. I will be staying at the inn. If they wish to have any more information about their brother, I would be happy to relay this. A absolutely, I'll, I'll send them your way. How long will you folks be in town? I can speak for the rest of the but I would say at least a day for myself, monthly too. Okay. And for me, I've come to stay with them, if I'm their cousin. Oh, dear one, I'm I'm so sorry. It is a pleasure to meet you. I, I wish it was on happier terms. I agree. Um, there might be someone in town that knows exactly where they are if, if you run short on time. Um... I, I'm sorry, I don't know more. I'd like to ask him if he knows uh, if somebody still lives in town. I've I've heard bard tales about him in water or in Neverwinter. Uh, and who is that? Uh, Saren uh, Edermath. Oh yeah. Uh... He's, a, he's a famous half elf fighter, but he doesn't fight half elves like it sounds like. <laughs> uh... <laughs> His name is uh, is uh, Darren. Actually, and comes to the face. Uh, his his name is Darren, and uh, yeah, he's he's up at uh, uh, Edermath uh, Orchard, um, which is to the uh, northwest of town. Yeah, I, I I do the squee face, and I tell you guys, <laughs> we, we gotta visit him. Uh, you're looking for Darren as well, so am I. I didn't know that's what his name was, but yeah. <laughs> Well, if there's anything well, else I can do for you, you folks, um, feel free to take a look around. Uh, if you need supplies, um, I, I'm happy to to help in whatever way I can. Actually, I was wondering, you do you have healers kits? Um, let's see. Um, hey, my rules lawyer. <laughs> yes. Would you? I have. You know what you're would you mind checking the inventory? Anything um, that is generic supplies uh, under 25 gold pieces is available here at um, 
badge. Uh, I'd also like to inquire if he has something a little more armor or arrow resistant than the armor I'm currently wearing. Oh, um, unfortunately, I do not um, carry uh, armor and weapons. That's actually at the Lion Shield Coster, um, which you'll be able to find uh, here in town. So a healer's kit is five gold and three pounds. Yeah. And what a healer's kit does for those at home, this kit is a leather pouch containing bandages, salves, and splints. The kit has ten uses. As an action, you could expend one use of the kit to stabilize a creature that has zero hit points without needing to make a wisdom uh, medicine check. So I'll probably get a couple of those then. Um, uh, roll a d4. Okay. Da, 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 I'll do that in the thingy. Boop. <laughs> one. One. Rip. He only has one in stock. Okay, I'll take the one. Wow. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, mark that on your inventory and deduct your gold. Okay. Um, let's see. Another uh, DM call question. Are we tracking arrows? Um, I'd say stock up when you can, when you have availability, okay. but I'm not going to require you to count. Sure, that's something I would do here then. Yeah. Okay. Um, that would be at the Lion Shield Coster, not here. He's got supplies, but he doesn't have any weapons or armor. Oop, and I missed it. We have a new follow. Yay! 20. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, let's do, uh, let's let's roll another die here. So let's have uh, Chris do a roll. Sure. So we've got Gareth number one, Brianna number two, Hal number three. Oh, did we get a roll? Here we go. Me number four, Chris number five, Michael number six. Two. Two! Yay! Yay! Sarsora gets a inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank nice. you. <laughs> Thanks for the followers. We really appreciate it. All right. So um, anything else anyone wants to buy from Barthens? Uh, another question for you. Same thing. Same question this time about rations. Rations are available mm. here. Plenty. Okay, so should we subtract a couple days' worth and buy up some more? Sure. Probably a good idea. So how many days uh, should we have consumed uh, by this point? Let's say that you've gone through five days of rations. And I'm going to roll a... Yeah, he's got enough for whatever you need. Uh are there any uh, ball bearings or rope available here? Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll take uh, one of these. How much are those, Chris? So rope, I can tell you, I'm assuming it's going to be hem hempen rope, um, is one gold piece for 50 oh. feet, and it's about 10 pounds every 50 feet. Yeah, I'll and take uh, one rope and one ball bearing. Ball bearings. I don't see ball bearings in here, but I know they exist. Okay. And I will pull that up in a second for you here. You here do we go. The ball. Yep. Um. It doesn't say uh, the price, but. There, I believe they're one. Go yeah, they're a gold piece. They're a gold piece for yeah. a bag of a thousand. Oh my god. And then what they do is it weighs two pounds and each creature in a 10 foot square centered on point um, has to make a DC 10 dexterity saving throw or fall prone. Beautiful. Thanks. All right. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I wanted to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the page again. Shopping right. episode. Um... Yeah, I wanted to, um, on here is Holy Symbol. Do they, by any chance, have a Holy Symbol of Agma at all, or no? Uh, they do not. This um, particular town is um, the Shrine of Luck, uh, is the only temple in town, um, and they're just not big enough to have expanded from there. So um, you can get, like, a couple of 
generic holy symbols, but nothing that's like specific to Agma. Sure, sure. Um, so generic, so they don't. This town doesn't uh, have a particular god that they're fond of. Um, they do. They do have um, specific to her. She um, is um, Timora, Timora, the goddess of luck and good fortune. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll buy if if they have. Uh, it, um, if they have a holy symbol of Timora, Phelan will buy one. Absolutely. Um, feel free to describe what that looks like. <laughs> isn't that like, isn't that cheating on your, on your God? <laughs> no, is, no, no. Is Aggie um, going to get mad at you? That's her poly angles. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up here, uh, Timora's symbol is a gold coin with uh, a woman's face on it and uh, clovers on it as well. So I imagine it'd be something akin to that. Cool. I was totally going to make up doing a clover, so. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a clover coin. <laughs> oh, thanks, uh, Raya Paul, for um, coaching us on our Timora um, <laughs> sigils here. <laughs> I'll say I'll say it's, it's a... It's a coin with a, with um, Timora on one side and a clover on the other. So we have an excuse to do heads and tails later on for perfect one d twos. perfect, awesome. All right. Anyone else buying anything? Not at the moment. I figure, time permitting, I will return once I know what I will better need once we eventually depart. Yeah, I figure the store's gonna be here. It is. You wake up tomorrow and it's just gone. It's a possibility, <laughs> but I figure it's an unprobable possibility. <laughs> unprobable. Out of character, it would not be the first time a GM has pulled that on me. Oh. Agama mad. <laughs> I mean, there, there could always be a meteor that falls you know, during the night. So. It's true. Oh, and one more well, thing. I am going to buy a tent because I don't have one. A tent? Okay. Yes. How much are those? A tent is two gold pieces and 20 pounds. Cool beans. All right. So that was Barthen's uh, provisions. Um, Anywhere else you want to go before you uh, make your way back to the inn? It's getting kind of later in the day now. Um, well, I yes. would like to go to that weapons and armor shop we were told about because I want to look impressive before I go see Senpai. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Take, Hal, take an inspiration. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, so um, oh you head to uh, Lion Shield Coster, which um, Flint is happy to show you. Uh, Flint, are you going inside? Uh, if is it like um, is the is it particularly big or is it kind of small? Um, um it's it's. I'm pulling it up. It's a pretty big building. It's one of okay. the bigger ones in town. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely go in just with my hood up. Then. Okay. And a mustache. Yes. Oh, you know, I have my mustache. I'm good. What is it now? <laughs> It's, uh, oh, it hasn't changed. I, I guess it would have changed. I don't know. I'm thinking, because I was thinking handlebar at first, 70s, but maybe by uh, now. Oh, mm, video. Yeah, that's it. I was, <laughs> I was, no, I was thinking like a, uh, like a Fu Man shoot. <laughs> Hold on. We got a, a punny person in the chat, which means I need to take that inspiration away. <gasps> you know, how do I get a fan Ugh. Hate it. <laughs> this episode 10, 10 titled Phelan's Intention. I, I didn't need you how to sing kick? it. How do, we, how do we kick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, usually you bring your leg back and then you... Oh, wait a minute. I don't know no. who it is. Who's, who's rememberizing? You know who that is? No, who is it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. I have an oh, admirer. Oh, we'll oh. Know. Whitney. Oh, definitely <laughs> found her then. I'm Whitney. <laughs> Whitney. Whitney, do you know what shape Italy is? Oh. 
I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. Uh, welcome for joining us, uh, Whitney. We were talking about uh, Michael was Snapchatting earlier, and we were teasing that he was on Tinder with you. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So you, you guys make it to um, Lion Shield Coster, um, which on our map is, um, so if you look toward the t center of town, it's just to the left, so just to the west. Um, let's bring her up. So hanging above the front door of this modest trading post is a sign shaped like a wooden shield with a blue lion painted on it. That's, that's the one. As you go in, you see um, there is a human woman um, of about 35. Um, and she kind of uh, sees you come in and kind of looks up, uh, um, you know, kind of just aware of, of, of what's going on in the room and, like, making sure there's no trouble coming in. Um, and she kind of bluntly uh, looks at you and goes, you're new. We are. We've heard this is the place to come for arms and armament. You heard right. Excellent. Um, Michael, make a, a deception roll, please. Okay. Uh oh. 16. 16? Okay. Um, the handlebar works. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Um, so, uh, she, she definitely seems, um, kind of, uh, distracted and frustrated, but she's also, like, trying to, um, play the, play the clerk for you guys. What can I do for you? Okay. My compatriot over here is looking to, uh, add to his arsenal, and I might be as well. What are you I'll looking I'll let for? him, I'm I particularly look. Go ahead, Jedediah. I was just going to... you wanted to come here first? Yes, I'm, I'm looking at uh, one of the chainmail uh, mannequins and looking at the price tag and doing the whole... Uh, this isn't for me when it's really just way out of my price league. <laughs> I'm, just I'm, waits I'm for you. quite shocked. Yeah, I'm quite shocked and appalled at how much money it costs to get good armor and how little I have. Yep. Mm. What's your current armor? Uh, leather. As he is perusing, I will uh, simply ask the clerk. Uh, she introduced her out of character. Did she introduce her name? Nope. Yet. Good, ma'am. I'm Lord Gareth Blackstone. Thank you for letting us into your shop. Um, and I have the honor of your name, please. My name is Lenine Greywind. I apologize. For losing my manners, there's uh. You are busy. I understand. What? So yeah, I've heard. Mean, stick up what? Her kind of a nudge with my elbow. And I will go, and I will continue, and I will inquire about possibly a short bow and some arrows. Um, she kind of gives a, a nod and uh, heads to the back and um, brings uh, out a bow and um couple varieties of um arrows with different fletchings and stuff like that sets them on the counter sorry i've been uh keeping everything in back uh for extra security um i'm also Quite going to have her make a roll <laughs> Um, uh -oh. As she um, steps down, uh, steps and, and sets the, the bow on the counter, she looks up at your um, group again, and she locks eyes with um, Flint. Get out. Huh? Get out. Uh, Flint will, like, turn turn around. You, you, talk, you talking to me? Um, she pulls a short sword from behind the counter and says, uh, um... Your kind is the exact reason that I have the extra security oh. measures, and I'm oh. short stock now. So you can go ahead and get out. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, mm, All right, Flint. Listen. Let's. Uh, Phelan's gonna start patting him along and taking him outside. <laughs> Flint, I'm not. Oh, 
She's heightened. <laughs> She's discriminating against short people. Yeah, I, I don't. Who is this Flint guy? Uh, mm, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get out. But just so you know, I am a paying customer. I have every right to be here, she same as from everyone else. The and, and hey, let's go, oh. Flint. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of politely, with hands up, like, whoa, whoa, madam. I understand that there's probably some history, but do we really need to resort to violence at this point? I have the right to defend my property. And I understand, the right to but we service, has, and he needs to go. She, she has the right to take the pole out of her ass. Flint. 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 <laughs> I'm going to make some right. maid hand and start pulling Flint by the ear out the door. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Inspiration. <laughs> I like that. What do I do if I already have some? Give it to me. You already have some, too. I know. <laughs> start spending your to... inspiration so you can get more inspiration. I use my inspiration to pull Flint's ear. <laughs> it rips off. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, God. I'm gonna use my inspiration to do a killing blow with my mage hand one day. Oh my God. All right, so uh, Flint uh, gets pulled outside. Um, you went with him, uh, Phelan? Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, back inside, um, she uh, is seems satisfied by uh, Flint's exit, um, and uh, um, kind of backs uh, around uh, the counter and says. Uh, I don't know what you're doing traveling with uh, the, the likes of someone like him, but you better watch your backs. The red brands are causing you trouble then. The red brands are causing everyone trouble. What's been happening? Well, I have a shipment uh, that's missing. Um, I think was raided on its way here. Um, and uh, and there's always... Um, well, where and, did and they, they hang out? This is what the red brands do. They they pay. They make you pay for protection. I don't play those games with them. I understand. I heard um, that Darren Edermath was looking to put together a group of people to, to stop them, or at least to curb them. Praise to him for that, if he's able to pull that off. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Um... Uh, but yeah, keep your keep your eyes open on uh, on that one. I know he's he's a member, um, and uh, if you want to watch your own backs, avoid the sleeping giant tap house. That's where a lot of them assemble. Thank you. Where did they assemble? I didn't hear that. The um, sleeping giant tap house. By the way, I just want you to know that I take notes on like who I want to mimic for each character, like whether from fiction or someone I know in real life. <laughs> and I called Lenine uh, Greywind, no bullshit, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> was like, no, this is just no bullshit. We're not playing this game. <laughs> um, if you happen to, you know, I, I assuming that you are, uh, adventurers passing through town because that's all we tend to get um i would be willing to pay for the return of my supplies should you find them this company seems to like pay bounties are good to know about sorry for the distraction uh i believe your name was um gareth correct it is um this is what I have to offer work. on my short bows and arrows. Very much. What is, what is your price then? Uh, Chris, what are my prices? <laughs> <laughs> you should just have in every store just like a dude that looks like me, just with the book. <laughs> Chris, just, so what do you? He changes hats at each store. <laughs> he just changes hats. <laughs> uh, like um, a like short bow and Jenny. arrows. And arrows. Short bow is 25 gold pieces, and arrows is one gold piece for 20. Same with crossbow, but you had one of those too. Okay. That's something I can afford. Reminder, we did get, we were told that we would get 50 gold from our buddy that we broke ribs and whatnot. Yeah, uh, he said <laughs> it would take him a day to get that 
to you, though. Yeah. All right. So well, what I shall do then is I will ask her to, if she would be so kind, as to set a short bow with approximately 10 piercing arrows to the side for me, and I, was, and I will relay to her that um, I will be by tomorrow once I've received payment for a recent job. I will come to claim them then. Fair enough. Well, that's she kind of blinks at you it. when you say piercing arrows. She's like, as opposed to... <laughs> well, arrows there are that... some... I've heard tales of missing some... arrows. <laughs> I was thinking of more... I've heard of some rangers and scouts using more blunt-tipped arrows for less than lethal purposes. Fair enough. So, that's that's so some fancy out. stuff. I'm not uh, privy to selling at such a small town. Suction cup arrows. Suction cup. Boxing <laughs> glove arrows. Little hearts on the end. Cupid's arrows. I, I think Gareth is on to a good idea about thinking about that gold we don't have yet. So I will ask her if she's amenable to selling me a suit of chainmail today, and I'll bring her the 50 gold later. Chainmail is a, is a very... Nice seventy-five gold pieces. Yes. Plus, it will require time for it to be fitted. I don't have time for such details. <laughs> I would consider half up front, and then we would have to negotiate a payment plan. Uh, okay. Good to know. I imagine Jedediah wearing chain mail like a loose robe. <laughs> As long as it's not a little tight across the chest. <laughs> uh, he's human. He's He can fit. Wait, were you looking for chain mail or chain shirt? Because medium armor chain shirt is 50 gold pieces. While the heavy armor chain mail is 75. Ah, uh, fair, yes. Well, the chain shirt would actually be be better. But I still can't offer her half. Cannon it's like you just got out of level one or something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, hide is only ten gold pieces. Ooh. Ooh. You could also, um, to get yourself a little extra, you could also sell your uh, leather armor. I'll probably just find uh, a clean uh, set of non-stinky, uh, you know, uh, road dusty clothes. Uh, yeah, you can get clothes back at the uh, at Barthens pr Provisions if you want clean clothes. Um, I assume that people have clothes under their armor. I hope. <laughs> I've only got one set, so it's probably ripe after a few days on the road. <laughs> <laughs> get vegetation; that problem disappears. <laughs> You're a walking laundromat. Learn magic. Don't shower. Learn magic. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy a spell book at Barthes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, with those two visits, um, we are at time for our game, and we um, will be headed back to the inn as sundown is happening and a lot of the shops are closing. Um, so when we pick up next week, we will be here in uh, Fandalen and uh, getting to meet more people, visiting more places, and continuing on in our adventure so thank you all for joining us so much yes yay no one died it was close yay <laughs> uh, but we managed to pull through all right, uh, so keep an eye out on our social media at uh, rumalternus.com uh, is our website or our um, facebook is facebook.com slash rumalternus productions twitter is twitter.com slash rumalternus i'll drop those links in the chat here in a minute um, but keep an eye on that because we'll be posting about any bonus content uh, that ends up uh, up this week. So, um, yes, we will be back uh, next week from 10 to 12 Central. Uh, thank you all again so much for joining us. And uh, any anything anyone else wants to say before we sign off? Thanks for all the followers. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, really guys. appreciate thank you. it. And we'll see you next in. week right Stay here. Stay safe. Stay Praise Agma. <laughs>